Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Königsbrück. Today's episode is all about finishing this district of Löwenau we placed in the last episodes and also the live streams. And speaking about live streams, first thing I wanted to do in this episode was to finish this shopping mall we built in the last live stream out of those um, yeah, vanilla assets. Um, it's basically a PO'd version of two uh, vanilla malls and yeah, I wanted to create this unique shape um, for this street corner. But um, when it comes to detailing of this area, I didn't want to go crazy and prop intensive. So I decided just to place a few planters and some basic detailing, uh, adding some texture on the concrete and some paths to make it functional and also some trees. The only thing uh, you saw me um, struggling with um, is that those uh, city fillers, uh, those planters I placed, they are made by my friend Skibith. And yeah, they are terrain confirming, so I had to place some terraform networks around it or around them to make them um, look as they were intended to be. I also placed this bike stand because, I mean, we want to make people use their bike so they have to. Uh, have the opportunity to park them on their destination. I found this weird shape in the Piot building <laughs> and um, yeah, I wasn't in the mood um, to fix it on the Piot building itself. So I just covered it up with uh, a restaurant, the Share Jazz. And I also disliked uh, those uh, vanilla signs, so I covered them up with the one by Sven Berlin. Then we are moving forward to this empty lot uh, in front of the Kunsthochschule Königsbrück, the art academy of Königsbrück, which you see on the left part of the screen. It's uh, actually functioning as a high school. And I decided to make a nice green space here in between with some flowers and some trees. And uh, since this area will be hotspotted in future cinematics, I um, yeah, made a little bit more than usual. So I placed those flowers. Um, first, I wanted to make uh, the garden flowers in the colors of our um, coat of arms but then I thought yeah it's autumn and fully blooming flowers aren't this much realistic <laughs> so I decided to just place the green corpora of those flowers and some reddish one some red ones uh, because yeah, red is more like an autumn color than blue and yellow and um, yeah, as I already said, I decided to make this area a little bit more detailed, so I also placed those grass tufts. Um, since this area is very much, or the, the whole map is uh, heavily forested, I decided not to overdo it uh, here, um, so I just placed, I mean, <laughs> I placed uh, many trees, but not uh, as much as I usually do. And since we are getting closer to the old town, I also decided to detail the, the sidewalk around this art academy with our cobblestone decals, which we are going to use in the old town.
I'm back. Moving forward to this area, I decided to place a mixture between old buildings and modern ones. So you are seeing me placing those Paris buildings from the late 19th century. And uh, right next to them, I placed the Quartier M buildings by Find, uh, not Find, I'm sorry, uh, by Titan. <laughs> Please apologize, Titan. Um, they are based on some modernist buildings in Dresden in Germany, I guess. Correct me if I'm wrong, Titan, in the comments, please. Um, and I also decided to place this parking garage in the back of uh, those Quartier M buildings, since we have the university and also the, the art academy right next to this corner and uh, some parking spaces. I mean, we have this uh, parking road on the back of the university, um, but uh, yeah, we definitely needed some more parking here since um, the roads are the only opportunity for people to park their cars. Um, the whole district has many of those non-90 degree angled uh, street corners and uh, yeah it's quite hard to figure a way out to fill those and um, once again I mean you already saw two buildings of a bigger scale where I used PO to make them fitting on a 110 degree angle or um, anything but 90 degree it's very unusual in Europe that you see... I mean, there are in uh, some newer districts uh, 90 degree angled street corners, but mostly they aren't perfectly 90 degrees. So it's uh, adding very, very much uh, of realism to uh, meme those um, street corners and the best way to do this as you could see um, a few minutes ago could have seen a few seconds ago I'm sorry um, by using procedural objects um, the same goes for this corner as for the park I mentioned a few minutes ago uh, since this area would be visible nearly every time we will record uh, cinematics of the old town which we will place in future episodes um, I decided to detail this area a little bit heavily, uh, heavier than I usually do to save props and um, yeah in general I intend to save more props than in older projects um, and I am doing this by converting most of them to procedural objects. And I think um, I have to uh, look it up, uh, but I think we are only for this district nearby. We have already like 2500 procedural objects or so, because mainly I convert all the decals to POs. Yeah. I mean, there is also a limit, but it's so high that uh, I think the mixture between those network-based uh, uh, detail stuff and PO and I mean, some props, you have to use the prop version, for example, street lamps, uh, because they will lose their illum uh, illumination when you convert them to procedural objects. But yeah, as you can see right now on the screen, all those little details like the swimming pool or or the garden tables, I convert to procedural objects. Um, the downside of this uh, is that uh, they lose their color variation. So for example, some cars I will place as procedural objects but I also will place some props 
since they come in three colors and add some more variation to your parking lots. I mean, the most parking lots I built f functional, uh, but in the backside of those houses, for example, I had to place some prop cars or PO'd cars. And here it comes, our first uh, postal service building. <laughs> Um, definitely something I want to keep up for the city. Uh, we will also add in uh, the middle future uh, a postal distribution center or something like this. Here I just placed a little um, yeah, postal service for not the whole district uh, but uh, for those few blocks. And um, you also saw me placing this new Baroque house um, by Titan. It's um, an early access, so short advertisement block. If you want to have access to this house, you have to get access to Titan's early, um, early models. And the best way to do this is to become a patron of him or to be a friend with him. <laughs> so yeah. Definitely uh, check out his Patreon page if you uh, didn't, because he's doing so much. I, without Titan, this district would be empty as hell. He's also he was also creating this uh, huge uh, older building. Um, I decided to place here, which you can see right now on the screen. So yeah, definitely share some love with him.
Wow, this street corner, it's probably my favorite uh, up to this moment in our city because it has everything I yeah, I wish for a European city. You see those old medieval structures, uh, the amazing Hartenfels castle um, by Titan. Uh, it's uh, from the modular version of it. And then you have those um, buildings going through all the centuries. You have some baroque buildings or one baroque building and you also have 19th century buildings and also I mean I imagined uh, this modern building it's actually from green cities and by far the buildings uh, from green cities and from industries they are very very good I really like them uh, the buildings I mean yeah the more the buildings grow or the more they are higher the more unrealistic they they become so uh, here's the thing with the models themselves they are quite good for green cities or for modernist buildings um, but as you could uh, saw on uh, the last video I had to um, place uh, one office building which came with green cities four times to make it look realistic in comparison to all the other office buildings around them. But this uh, modern uh, house I placed in this block, it fits so well. It's, uh, I mean, I see those buildings everywhere in European old towns where a house gets abandoned or just uh, too old so it had to be teared down and then an architect comes and says you know we want to place a building here a residential building but we don't want to interrupt the uh, the look of the old buildings surrounding it and so they decide to blend in the buildings the modern buildings into uh, those areas and that's why they are so neutral and so basic and I really like it because it says hey this building stands in an area where so much history is placing and um, we don't want to cover the history of the district up by placing a very uh, expressive building I don't know if it makes sense what I'm saying <laughs> but yeah that's something uh, I really love about um, placing some good blended in modern buildings in uh, older parts of a city. But I'm drifting totally away from what you can see right now on the screen. I placed those office buildings uh, to the main avenue. It's actually I guess eight times the same building to make it look like a bigger office complex and uh, I also placed uh, already those retaining walls and first of all I wanted to place also buildings on this corner but then I thought hmm, the slope it's so difficult to place on it so I decided to just make a little backyard uh, with a loading area and some stairs up to a terrace thing I don't know it's just um, me filling up the gaps and then I decided to place a graveyard near the church on the slope and Wow, the end result, I really like it. It's just a little graveyard it and it's, it's adding so much detail to the area. I mean, uh, that's by far the oldest part of uh, the district of Löwenau. Which we will come to an end. So, um, yeah, after I finish this graveyard, you will see the amazing overview of the whole city. And, um, yeah just uh, a few things I wanted to mention. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and uh, you also join the Discord server and at least uh, please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like uh, the videos I am producing and uh, also hit this bell icon so you get notified when I will uh, upload a video or I will stream which 
isn't this unrealistic or unusual in the last uh, weeks. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, also make sure to leave a like and a little comment.